There we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very excited that I have found a way to share my bowls again. Yay. Give me a thumbs up, you two, if you can hear it. Uh-oh, no thumbs up. All right. Yay. So as we were talking about before I hit record, very excited to share about the Lemurian crystals. I love them. I love them. This was one of the first crystals beyond like beads that I actually purchased as like we call specimen. This one right here. Really beautiful. It's a Lemurian quartz. It's a type of quartz. This one's a generator. You see this flat edge? It generates energy out and has so much information in there. And so for me, this is the crystal I talk about when I say, oh, I had lessons. I would wake up in the morning and go like, oh my God, I felt like I downloaded lessons. And I was pretty new into this world, so I didn't even know what I was talking about, but I felt it. So this one I love, it's a generator. Then we have what we call the seed crystals. They're ones like this. Now this is a cluster. So this is what I use for like community harmony in the environment here. But if you see, I always think it like barcodes. Let's see if I can get a light. So you can see there's little, to me, I feel like this is where we got the wisdom of the barcodes, little striations in here and they contain highly spiritual information. I could do a whole lesson just on Lemurians. Look at that. They're so amazing. Here's another one that I love. This one has a little bit of the matrix left in it. And it has this red energy. I feel like, I always felt like this is like, like Mesa energy, like, you know, like the ancient pyramid energy. So I love this one too. And then this one is a beautiful generator too. This one has a little bit of that phantom energy in it. Cause you can see, you see that? Reminds me of Pink Floyd, <laughs> but it generates out. It also has this flat edge, which means it's a generator as well. So it generates energy out there. Now, the beautiful things with crystals is we put our intentions, we put our wishes in there. And, and some people say program, some people argue you can't program crystals. They already have that, but I don't know. In my opinion, and the way in which we use crystals in the world at large and our computers and our in medical equipment and all, we are kind of programming them. So you choose. You choose however you want to look at that. But I like to think that we can help us to bring those intentions into the crystals for whatever it is you're working on. Now, the Lemarians, you can do a lot of reading on it. I highly suggest the work of Shelly Kerr. She's been on my podcast. Um, I actually had one of her Lemarian books, didn't even know it when she was on the podcast. But she has her own theories, and many people do. Edgar Casey was a big talk person that talked about uh, the Lumarians and Atlantis as well. I tend to resonate more with um, Lumarians. Lumarians were highly sophisticated, a lot of feminine energy, where sometimes people say more of the Atlanteans were more in the physical working male energy. So I always look at it like the feminine energy of the Lumarians. And they lived on this earth for a long time, you know, ancient years ago. And it is said, there is a said that like when some of that masculine energy started coming in, it came in the form of the dinosaurs and that's when they started to go underground. And there still is a lot of theories about tunnels underneath the earth, especially like right now under Mount Shasta. Some even say like under the Hawaiian islands. But one of the things they did is they started burying all their knowledge into the crystals underneath the ground. And for many years they lived under the ground. I don't know, maybe there's still a breed under there. I feel like I have some of my energy from there. But the, and the crystals just started coming up. And so they started coming out. And so they started helping us to really find them. So you can find them. If you go searching for them, you will probably pay more than a regular quartz. You can find them like this, like, you know, that kind of shape. You can find them in specimens. You can also find them where they lay down, you know, pieces. I also, um, those are Herkimer's. I was saying I have beads, but I don't think I have any Lemarian beads. I have Herkimer beads, but I don't have any Lemarian beads. But check it out. They're really beautiful and what I want you to do as we go through the meditation today, whether you're watching now with me or later, is for just for a moment, take a moment, and this is why it's important to have your sacred space, notice how you feel right now. Notice how the energy is in your space. Because as we call in the Lemurian beings and with the crystals right here, we're going to shift that vibration. We're going to allow ourselves to easily and gracefully allow this vibration to come into First and foremost, your space, and then into you. 
So notice what you notice as you move through the meditation. Now, this is a great preparation. Saturday morning, I will be doing a portal energy, another portal. We have so many portals of energy. A lot of theories about portals too, but for me, portals I've always loved. You know, they kind of start opening up eight, eight. We talk about the lion's gate. Nine, nine is kind of a different kind of energy, but then we go into 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12. 11, 11, we're in that Scorpio energy. It is deep, it is opening. And I did some channeling on the podcast this week and the channeled message, really what I'm bringing in reminded me of the Lumarian energy. <clears throat> and it's about finding that harmony, finding and raising your vibration to that highest vibration of peace, right? Is what we need right now. And as we raise that vibration, the lower, the lower, heavier, denser vibrations, things that you struggle with, obstacles, even the shadows. We need our shadows. I'm not saying we don't, but they start to let go and they start to dissolve away as you arise and lift your vibration. And we just imagine, we'll talk about the Merkaba on Saturday, but we imagine we're in this beautiful spinning energy that helps us to just awaken our energies a little bit more. So we'll do that on Saturday. So this is a great prep for just really tuning in and noticing what you notice around you and within you as we work with this beautiful, call them star people if you want. I do, the Lumarians. So let's begin. Finding something to light. Find all my strikers. Find my matches. Calling in the element of fire. Noticing that spark of energy coming in for you. Noticing as it goes and turns to the element of air. Clearing the mind. Clearing your space. Dropping into the heart, calling in the element of water. Letting all the emotions just flow. Scorpio's water. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering. Taking a nice deep inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, just pull all your energy into you. Pull it in. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. Exhale, pulling all the energy back down. Call in your spirit. Feel the spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Aligning, centering. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, coming right into the very center of your heart. Right in the very center, feel that connection. Your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in around you. Noticing how you feel this morning. Noticing where you are right now in your sacred space. Inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, breathing all the way back down. All the way deep into the earth. Opening up that channel of light. Inhale, breathing up from Mother Earth through the body. Up into the higher realms. Exhale, breathing all the way back down. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. Now from the heart, expanding through the auric field as you take that next breath, opening up the heart. All around you, extending the aura. Exhale, pulling it back in. And again, inhale, expanding that breath all around you, side, back, side, front. Exhale, pulling all the energy back into you. Inhale, expanding, opening up, just moving any of that stuck energy. Exhale, coming back in. Inhale, breathing up the body. Exhale, back down. Inhale, expanding all around you. 
Exhale, coming back in. Right here in the center of the heart, take a moment and notice where you are on this great wheel of light and life. As we call in the Lumerian beings, calling them in to surround us, to awaken us, to help with our spiritual path. And just take a moment and just notice little glitters of light coming in for you. Noticing a little shift in the room, perhaps. Continue that breath up the body and allow the Lemurians to open up the crown a little bit more for you, for your own divinity. Continue the breath. Just sending out through this crystal right here, a higher awakening, peace. Peace on the scale of consciousness at the top. Maybe enlightenment's a little higher. Peace. Feeling that within you. Maybe you start with harmony. Move it up a little bit. Love, joy. We just ask the Lemurians for that knowledge of peace, peace within us. So the message I'm getting is just to allow this idea, this energy, this form of light, of peace, to start radiating right through you. And as that begins to awaken the crown, let the crown open into the higher dimensions, absolute light. And now just ask for a message from these Lemurian beings, a spiritual information, show me. Allow for my divinity, my path. Feel this white light streaming all the way through your energy field, all the way through the higher chakras, activating your purpose, your past lives, the wisdom you carry. Let it move all the way through, through the heart all the way to those lower chakras and just ask to release some of the excess stress you're carrying, worry, fear of the world. Bring your awareness right into that third chakra, right into the solar plexus, breathing in and out through the solar plexus, finding your power that aligns with the spiritual knowledge. How can that show up for you on your daily path? to be around you, sparkling, shining light all around you.
Notice the third eye expanding. This vibration of peace moving all through every organ, every chakra. Through, through the fascia of the body, relaxing, easing, I am peace. I carry the spiritual knowledge with me each and every day and how I show up. Just expand through your auric field a little wider to take all this energy and open it up. Go ahead and open up your aura. And imagine all these little sparkles of light that the Lumarians bring us, filling in your entire auric field. Open it up wide. Open, open. And now we're gonna pull all that energy in, like just compress it all back into your energy field, bring it all in very, very close, all the way in, bring it all into your heart. Feel it right into the deepest part of your heart. Holding this vibration as long as you can today. Today. Inhaling. And exhaling and just breathing all the way down deep into the earth inhaling back up all the way up feel this concentrated form of light that lights your light body open that Shashunda channel Kundalini channel let it glow can you feel that can you sense a difference right now Good, and then now let's just tap that vibration right into the body, right here at the eyebrows. I am peace. Cheeks, I am peace. Nose and chin, I am in harmony. Collarbone, I am peace. Thymus, I allow myself to be peace. Underneath the armpit all day long. The eyebrows. I am peace. I am peace. Continue moving through. However you find that mantra to be for you. Say it. Feel it. Feel the Marians. They're still with us. And again, I am peace. I am in alignment with the peace within me. I release everything else. I am peace. All day long, I find this peace. Eyebrows, I call in the Lemarians, reminding me my spiritual nature of peace. I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. In peace. Right here at the karate chop. Release the hands, take a breath, notice how you feel. Taking the right hand over the left shoulder, just crossing over the midline of the heart, creating that harmonic balance. I love you. I love you. Tell yourself, I love you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Lemurians. I love you. I love you. I love you. Nice big squeeze. I love you. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands down. Just notice a little buzzing. 
bringing the hands right to the heart, taking a moment of gratitude for the beautiful Lemarians and all the work they do with us. Gratitude for your spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you today. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, focusing your energy, opening the third eye, feeling the heart, finding that power right there, your power in the solar plexus and allowing this peace to guide you all the way through. Blinking the eyes back open. Coming back. All right. Take this peace with you today and every day and share it out for sure. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.